Kuo Mintang debates democracy. Uh, political power. China democratically becomes the ruling party. Elections will be held. Yep, have a referendum. I don't care. I don't think we'll find much over there, to be quite honest. Let's go causing some trouble up the coast. That'll do for now. So, election. Magnate favours fascism. Oh, screw that. We don't want fascism. All right, changing popularity of fascism. We cannot rely on fascists to develop and protect the Republic of China. Changing popularity of democracy. Remove all motorised equipment designer ideas from Republic of China. I better read this out. An influential industrialist behind one of the companies we have chosen to work with for our industrial production has recently made a number of statements on politics that members of the administration found troubling. Okay, we've got a fascist in there. Uh, we're going for democracy. Actually, I don't know how this... Am I now the Republic of China? <laughs> this is quite fun. We have Wang Wanho. Everything else, I think, is, is pretty much the same. Uh, but this is this is kind of cool. So I don't know if it changes anything in here. I'm currently yeah I'm currently focused on naval production. That is fine. We can right. What I wanted to do was to let me just check Japan again. I don't think it's going to be a problem. Take over faction. We need 10 more political power. Right, we need another million men in the field. That's a big, big ask. That is a big ask, actually. The easiest way to do that, I think, is to create a ton. See, we've got a shortage. What are we currently... It says we've got nothing, yet it says we've got a shortage of artillery. Is that right? Yeah, okay. So if I'm going to do this, the, the cheapest way I can do it, or rather not necessarily the cheapest, but the best way I can do it, is to get our defence infantry. So that doesn't use a lot of artillery, it's just infantry equipment mainly. Right, let's let's go for 72 divisions. This is going to be this is going to be insane. Absolutely insane. And we won't be able to feed them. We'll have to move them around. But that should put in training 1.57 million. That should allow us to then take over faction leadership, I I hope. So let's have a look at our marines now. Let's see what's going on. Did we... Please don't say we, we turned around. No, it's okay, they're going. We, we only need to start with naval supremacy to set them off. Man, this is going to take some getting used to because my flags are now completely different. I've never seen this, this flag in my life before. Did we see? I thought I saw some divisions somewhere. I'll leave the heavy armor back there for now. We want to try and get four divisions of cavalry across there, and then we're going to go and try and take New Orleans, and that should be a fairly tasty port. Hang on, we can also support from there. Actually, I think coming across the river has just gone quite badly for us there. It may be time, because there's a big river we've got to get across if we're going to do that one. Oh, let's let's go and make sure we've got these places. We're going to have to go across the river sometime. We seem to be pushing into Canada. Oh, Japan's landed. Right, that, that makes life a little bit trickier. So, give me... I can't put that on the front line, because they will never be able to feed 
that monstrosity of an army. However, we have these guys for a reason. Come so, on. railroad them up here. Hoover. And I'm going to just charge them north. We're just going to take them north. And I'm going to cut Canada off in that direction. And all that, that way will be then mine. And Japan will have to make do with this little bit. I don't want them getting out of there. I don't want them getting any more war score. That's that's my my point. Come on, divisions. We need to get across here. I want to take these rail tracks. And then we might have to just retire the cavalry for a bit. And use something with a bit more punch. I mean, these guys will eat some serious supplies on there. Right, now then, we have some proper hulls. Let's start the production of a navy, shall we? Uh, we will... I am going to start picking up the heavy battery, actually. When I go into this, we should have... I need to start making... Oh, God, I need to start making... Um... I'm tempted to just abandon. Let's abandon the mine subs. That that job's done. Ah, we have a problem. The naval invasion battle plans. That's still in use. Uh, we have too few convoys. We're going to have to... I mean, we need a lot of supply going overseas. So that's that's an issue now. Right, give me, give me one of those. That's okay, we're gonna lose that. Um, we're gonna go for, we're gonna design a new cruiser. This should be, this should be crazy. Can we put sonar in one of these? Are we worried about submarines in these? What's the goal of these gonna be? If we're having a fleet, we need light, we need light cruisers and we need heavy cruisers. Fire control systems. Better anti-air. Better light and heavy battery hit chance. Just go back a second. Because what are the guns going to be? They're going to be medium batteries. Heavy cruiser battery 4 is what we want. Uh, yeah, that is exactly what we want. So these are going to be heavies. So we, do we want the yeah, air? Let's put sonar on. Fire control. No, actually, fire control is not much use because, oh, it is. It's on heavy battery as well. Screw it. Stick it on as well. We can have. We want radar. I'm terrified of subs. These aren't going to be by themselves though. They're going to have screens, and the screens are going to have sonar. So that's that's fine. Better have some good anti-air on this. We have the best engines. Oh, we need the, the big heavy cruiser armor. And we've got dual purpose secondaries for some more anti-air. Well, we may as well take that. And hopefully have some real kick-ass power here. We, Oh, hang on, just a minute. Let's see what we can do here. So one of these has to be aircraft. Any of these can be that, so that's nice. So we're going to put aircraft on there. Oh, wait, these are heavies. No, sorry, I beg your pardon. Um, the light cruisers want the, the aircraft on. So let's put the medium batteries. We want some heavy hitting power with this. Boom. We still will have heavy cruisers. Yep. Let's stick it on. We still will want some... Can we not put depth charges on? Just in case. And... More secondaries. So what have we got? We've got three heavy batteries. Secondary. We, th these are going to be kick-ass. <laughs> I hope. So let's get making them. Oh, okay. So, right. These are going to be high priority. So we also need to do... 
We can only work on one at a time. And it's going to be the 7th of May. That's... Oh, 53. Right. There's your problem. So, it's going to be next year. But that's, that's fine. I don't think we can speed that up any. So, what we can also do is then develop a light cruiser. So where's my 44 who's cruiser hull? Where's the empty one? I could just modify it. No, I can't. We don't have the experience. Crap. It's, th it's this one. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have to wait till we get more experience on this, unfortunately. We'll keep an eye on that. Anyway, we've got some heavy cruisers. And this is... It's not going to be much of a battle fleet. But I, I knew that developing a battle fleet was going to be a long, slow process. Right, our guy's got a cross, which is excellent. Should have jumped well. And they've got supplies coming in there, which is nice. Actually, we should then... I think, yeah, because this should take us from two. So let's give us... We'll take three divisions in there, and we'll actually support with a fourth. Because with that captured, New Orleans should now go. We're going to attack it from three sides. Superb. Superb. Uh, we'll go in with these five, actually. There, 85, that's going to fall, and it's ours. So while we're doing that, I mean, the oil situation has drastically improved, because I'm going to guess we are now harvesting a lot of American oil. And I wonder if that's where all the convoy use is going. We're having to bring that back. Uh, we've got plenty of trucks and stockpiles. It's trains, believe it or not. Trains we're short of. The War Austerity Train. We just need more of them. Yeah, we need more of them. So nice. Well done, fellas. Well done. Uh, let's take the cavalry and just go to Mobile. Did I get that big army up here, by the way? Did it ever turn up? The one I was saying... Okay, that one's finished. I never bothered with the maintenance company. So that, that is effectively done, because we're not going to worry about maintenance for now. We can maybe get it later. Should we start working up mechanized? Actually, I don't think we need do any more on that, do we? That bit's fine. So let us, let us work up this. Research things down there. Uh, we are saving... Yeah, you know, we're going to have points for this, so we, we can put this in a material designer. Uh, we'll go for the motorized equipment designer, because we're going to go for that at some point. This is a nice grab for us. This really is. I haven't even used the big tanks. Did the Marines get in down there? They did indeed. Excellent. Right. Delete that. So, this is an interesting thing. Let's change your template to use the big Marines. I need one more towed artillery, apparently. And you can have the supply consumption medal. Right, guys. Uh, do some training in your downtime. Because the next thing... I'm going to try and build a massive... Oh, yeah, that didn't do it. A massive naval base here. Why is that going weird? Hang on. Is this maxed out already? Nope, that's just done it. That's just exactly what I wanted it to do. It's finally done it. And then stick it to the top of the list. Uh, Yucatan can... It's probably not even needed now. Oh, wait, no. That was, that was on the other... That was on there, wasn't it? That is needed. That's to try and give us a naval base to 
We probably don't need it now, actually. We're going to have naval bases up here. See, the, see, the game can move faster than uh, you're ready for. I think I bollocked up my situations with escorting and stuff. Why is that so low? Escort up to 1,100 convoys or cover up to 72 regions. It can cover a lot then. I think the reason being is that we have a lot of convoys. I think that's the problem. So I was I was trying to set up this additional these additional task forces. I don't think it's been really necessary. Yeah, I don't think it's been necessary, but can we ex we can extend this out now for reasons unknown to me. Let's do that. Yeah, screw it. I can't be bothered. Uh, I was going to do these two separate things, but I think it's a lot of work for not a lot of benefit. So, forget it. Uh, what about this lot, though? These guys should now be able to... They still... They can do that one believe it or not, but they can't do this one. I don't know. I don't know. Just pass. Pass. Um, strange. Oh, I'll tell you what we can do now. Well, I'll tell you what we can do. This, this is, this is going to be good. We can attack the Panama Canal from this side now. Let's bring them back up there and then bring them over here. And then we will, uh, we, we're going to march into the Panama Canal from this side and we are going to complete it. Right, so the cavalry has once again on. stormed in. Excellent. Uh, we'll go and take uh, whatever that place is. Yeah, hang on. We got, uh, we got a bit sidetracked here. You need to... There's going to be a lot of starvation going on here. But we'll worry about that. Afterwards. I won't use the entire force then, because that is a bit crazy, isn't it? Right, okay. So we're going to split Canada in two before the Japanese get to advance across much of it. And we'll just... We'll just split this uh, defense line up here. I'm part of my cunning plan to carve North America up into my own little domain. It's all mine. All mine, I tell you. The mountaineers would be better suited to doing that job, admittedly. Sure, Nice, okay, we've got them there. We've managed to cut off another division here. Uh, it's because everywhere is so big. Oh, let's let's bring the let's bring the tanks up for a laugh. And let's get them into Tulsa and just we're gonna have a big cut off around here. And then uh, this army can mash that bit up. That's that's causing a bit of a mess in the line. Yeah, but this seems to be going quite well. So we're quite happy with this. Uh, let's just make sure that gets captured. Right, is our plan... Is our plan going ahead over here? Hmm, I think I've got too many troops. Okay. Okay, better idea, much better idea. Halt, railroad out of there. Do you know who we have got that's actually, actually suited for this and would do it very well? A massive mountain army, which is perfectly suited for this job. 
that are sitting around doing nothing at the moment. So let's bring them in. We're getting some naval experience. There's not a lot of naval experience to gain, unfortunately. And trying to design some light cruisers, which aren't strictly necessary. I can just build stacks of 44 destroyers and stick them in as the screens. But I would like some light cruisers. Light cruisers are quite effective. Oh, I forgot about the ciphers. We, we could have had this kicked off ages ago, couldn't we? Starting to feel a little sorry for the US here. Let's get that cut off and then let's just batter through with the tanks and just clean that up nicely. It's what they're there for. Oh, this this is too good. This is too good to, to ask for here. So we're going to take... We're going to get to the... We're going to get to the coast. Can't tell which of those is the port. Is that... Uh, that's... Um, Savannah, isn't it? I think that's Savannah. Charleston. South Carolina it will be. And then that means we're going to have a spare army over here. I've just railroaded these guys down. This is... Oh, that's a defensive army. That's not the one I want. Right. Come in, folks. You're going to be in charge of taking Florida. Which shouldn't be a big ask. You shouldn't need 24 divisions. Right, okay, so, just reminded me to go and check on these before we start losing some. So I, f I feel like we're getting to the point of the game where it's starting to be a bit of a an automatic victory with whatever we're looking at. Do I want to move anything else? I do, I need one guy up here holding Vancouver. Are our mountain men in the... Uh, they are. Nice. Leave one in. Move on. Actually, leave a couple in there because it seems silly to, uh, to move up with everything. There we go. And that's hopefully we're going to just smite our way up there and then cut off that section. And Japan can have this little section. They're welcome to it. I want everything else. So I'm a greedy pig. Right, nice. So, let's take let's take that off, and we want these guys who should have been coming into here on that job, going down to Miami for Christmas. And he's got some points to spend. Let's give him the infantry expert trait. Right, what's the situation with this? Can I... Sorry, not that. I need the points. I don't have political points, so I can't do this even if we have, but... 7.74 million. I currently have... Yeah, I'll be, I'll be good when those all those units arrive. Where are they? Okay, we'll let them train up a bit and then we will deploy the whole lot when we've got 200 political power and we'll take over the faction from Japan. So we're on course to do this sneaky, sneaky trick if we wish to do it like this. Might not be the most sensible thing to do. I, I don't know. Right, excellent. So that army's going in there. Whilst they're sorting out, fuel refining, excellent. And logistics company, excellent. So we're going to get on to the fuel refining, the next one. It did go down a bit at one point. It was looking a bit, uh, a bit ropey. Rubber, we should never be short of rubber with the territories we have. That should be like just, just a done thing. Guided missiles? 
naval support, navy. Oh, yeah, there is some more navy stuff, isn't there? It's on here. Yeah, okay. It's, it's time to max all this stuff out, really. So let's go on there. Right, okay. I think, well, we've had quite a successful little thing going on. Before I forget, let's, uh, we'll stop those training for the time being. And we're just going to railroad these guys over here. This is going to be the last sort of play for this session, I think. So we've got an army defeating the United States there. We're about to push through with our tanks and our heavy stuff. Uh, let me just move the tanks out the way. I'm just going to bring them down to a port. We have to garrison some ports. Yeah, they can they can just go in there. That's fine. And I need some more defensive port sitters. I'll take these two. Just to hold on to uh, places we've captured over here. Like New Orleans is something you would never want to fall to. Whoever might be... Oh, God. That... It, I... The game just stalled because it was in the middle of an auto save or something and it just refused to tick over. So I I think I sent them someone to New Orleans and someone to the other one. And then there's another army over there. We don't really need anyone else on the coast. I don't need 24 divisions on here <laughs> either for that matter. But let's bring them over because uh, there are places over here to defend and there will be ports to hold and stuff, especially at the Eastern Seaboard. So that is where they're going to be needed. And with the Marines in there, all we do is we set the invasion order for that going at that. And that will go and we're going to tick on that. And if we have naval superiority, which we don't, currently, but we are going to be working on it. There's a lot of crap over here. There is a lot of crap over there, isn't there? Right, they're doing... Oh, actually, no, they, they must be doing something. So give me um, 100 naval bombers. Can you remember what our naval bombers look like? It's been so long. I must... I've got 2,600 of these. Oh, cancel. No, I just want these ones. And you're supposed to be doing that. You're doing your own job. You're, you're fine. Um, that should help a little bit. I should probably have put some ships over here before, you know. It would have made sense. There is space in here for some more. I mean, naval bombers. It gets our manpower increased as well for the faction. So this, this all counts. I don't know if we'll see much action over there. But it's not a bad idea to cover it. And it would have been nice if I had actually got more space on there. But uh, we will. Actually, the, the other planes, if I do another one here, the other lot should sod off because they're supporting Army 5. So they at some point will clear off somewhere else when there's the space. So this will actually be more use. Because this covers a lot of enemy ports across here, so that will be useful. So far, so good. Right. All right. So, folks, we're going to leave it there. I would say our invasion of North America has been quite successful. Oh, shall we do this quickly? Let's go and design a light cruiser. In fact, let's take the heavy cruiser... No, let's just do a fresh... Yeah, we'll do a fresh... No, we won't. We'll do... Where's the heavy cruiser? If we do this... No, we won't. I don't want to mess it up. I was going to just change the modules to make it a light cruiser. I don't want to mess it up, so we're going to create a, uh, a new one on the cruiser hull and see if we can... We probably can't afford this, actually. We need the aircraft facilities. Not too expensive yet, so we go rapid fire guns and we go dual purpose main battery. Is that it? Is light attack? Uh, let's go light battery four and do it properly. Anti aircraft. This is where we need we need sonar and radar on this. This is going to be also a bit of 
defense. This is currently affordable. Dual purpose secondaries. And these do need cruiser armor as well. And we can't afford it. God damn it. I need more experience. I'll save it like there. This is the cruiser hull B. This is going to be our light cruise. 1944 light cruiser. But. So these are going to be better for spotting. These are going to be like the screens of the, sh of the fleet. This is how I like to build it. It's probably a bit overkill putting the best of everything on this. But uh, we'll need torpedoes and we'll need depth charges and some more guns. So we'll work on that next time. I'll have to try and remember. <laughs> anyway, so the plan to knock out the United States is going ahead perfectly. We're going to take advantage of this to... Uh, to carve up Canada, Japan is going to get that bit, we're going to get the rest. And from there, I think from there, our best bet is to start our sneaky, sneaky plan to knock out Japan at that point. But we're going to get our armies back over here. We're going to have to, it's going to have to go well. I don't know how it's going to work. It might go disastrously. But we shall see. It will be fun, whatever happens. Anyway, folks, hope you've enjoyed it. And of course, let me know your thoughts and comments as always. China's turned out to be one of the most fun gameplay runs I've done in this. Way more than I expected. We might even take on the USSR in a future episode. If you think I should, let me know. If you think I should not, warn me in the comments before.